stop. <laughs> yes. Hi everyone, <laughs> it's Open House Thursday on your view. Welcome to the show. I am Morayo for Labby Bennett's usual. I have my lovely coast. Hi ladies. Excellent. Topsic in the bin. Yo, yo, yo. How you doing? Six weeks gone? Shoot. Yes, I was. I just got back. Just and I missed, I missed my country. Uh, yes, I, I was actually tired. Did you hear tired. what she said? I miss my country. Uh, now, now, now you look like you act like Nigeria because when you travel out, you know I appreciate that I'm in Nigeria. Yes, I'm in Nigeria and, and I missed my country. And, and, I, and, and, and you know sometimes when you, you need to see other places to realize that things, it's not, it's not, it's not all rosy. Mm, you guys that are just running away, man, you just gone. Like I hear horror stories, Mariah. Oh joblessness, God. hustling to do anything because they just want to escape. If you hustle here, you 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 can make I something make out of yourself. You make, you, be make, you, make it, you make it pridefully. Mm. Mm. Yes. But, but one quick thing though, every church around was giving food like every day, everywhere you go to. And they don't have hunger as bad as Nigeria. Please, <laughs> our churches, every pastor watching, if your church isn't giving out food to people in your community, then you are not showing the love of God. My church mm. gives out every food. Every church Sunday. should every give day. out church food. Does, My church day. does, but I know a lot of churches that don't. And you get right. offered, and people are hungry around you. Mm. We have hunger problems in this country. Every church should be giving out food. My church does too. That's That's awesome. Awesome. How's Welcome your trip, back. though? Yes. Oh, <laughs> How many countries did you go to? What? How many States. countries? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, um, yes, um, on route, yeah, yeah, Milan. It, it was just it, let, let, story for another day, but it you was fun. I enjoyed. No story for today. No, oh yeah, 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 and yeah, I've yeah, added, yeah come on. I've added the banter like is all about three you. Three kg. Okay. Tell us about the what airport about you, compared to our airport. Be, yes, so. Oh tell no, us but about you, the I don't think we should run comparison because we're far behind on every ground. Yes, we are. We are far behind on every ground, and I think that at the end of the day. When you get into Nigeria, that on, until we solve that problem, you know that the center, you, the first thing you see is uncompleted building, and everybody sees that uncompleted building left there to rot. I think we can do something the, about the, it. The, the, the pathway you walk to, no AC, yeah, it's, it's stuffy. There, there are a lot of things that we can Death easily thing. fix. Quick one, the queue. Why would I be coming into my country and I'm queue being, for like over 45 wow, minutes too? I, I am coming into my country. Mm. What are you doing? You just open my passport, you check and you stamp and we're on the queue. Yeah. We don't need to do that. Other country citizens just You citizens don't just walk in. Yeah. It's my country. Why should I, why should I suffer? Anyways, it's well. Well. it happens for the first one weekend. You'll be rejoining first. After a while, you just adjust it. I'm it trying not happens. to. <laughs> <laughs> How's it normal? How are you doing, Maria? I'm doing great. It's... Um, the kids are back and I'm just engaging my children. I like to do that. So, you know, I talked about this. So they're doing coding, they're doing tennis, they're doing taekwondo. I just wow. really need Please, them need to, to be help. out. Let's, let's have and that then discussion. I got that um, idea from you. So I'm asking, they're reading and now writing, writing what, what, they're, they're, uh, yeah. what they've read. It's That's beautiful. Well, um, Perfect mom of the year. Please, may I can not come and kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> I shift my kids, <laughs> be three of them, to my mother-in-law's place. Their cousins came from um, Oweri. They are all in that yeah. house. The place is big enough for everybody. Mm -hmm. I've been alone in my, my house so for happy. one week now. So uh, next week again, I'm going to be alone in my house. Let them oh. rest. Let me rest. I need okay. my peace and my sanity. Because <laughs> just that one week that I was with them, I was shouting I know, I on know. a daily. It's not nice. the eating. I mean, when I summer school, my mother-in-law was like, ah, you need that da. <laughs> <laughs> ah. She was like, really what kids want to play? Eating. Honestly. It's like they're about to eat you out of. Yes. Yes. Everything is finished. Every day bread is so finished. I, I, I drew up a timetable. So, and they know the time. They know, okay, mommy, snack time. Anyways, there's else. somebody else I want to call out today. There's somebody I want to call out. Oh, yeah. I don't, know if in, I don't know if you're a man or a woman. But this, my, my husband and I have agreed. He doesn't watch your view. Mm. Okay. Because what you don't see, what you don't hear won't hurt you, mm. right? Okay. okay. So we've agreed. But there's one monitoring spirit. My gown. That keeps there's calling your husband and giving you every feedback. Time, every time. I don't get it. So I'm if I said this, if I said, I'm going, Morel, kill all salary, I'm going to come. He said, who is this person? He said, I won't tell you. Is he a man or a woman? He won't tell me. <laughs> but so I won't tell the person. Mm -hmm. And hey. to your brother, whoever Bam. it is, please. Me and husband, business. we have an agreement. Yes. He doesn't watch the show. Yeah. What we talk about here doesn't consign him. Yes. Please don't come out. And don't let us catch you. Uh -huh. I can yes. fight that back <laughs> very well. Yes. Just so, mind your business. Bro or girl, whoever you are, just get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go on a break. Oh let's go to call my husband. Hey, what, what did you go tell your wife? <laughs> anyway, let's go on a break. When we come back, we're going to breeze through the front pages of the newspapers because today we're talking to the husbands. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Time. Right, welcome to the show. We're going to start with the punch. 
Saraki must resign as Senate president says Oshiamole. <coughs> Ondo youth block Lagos Ibadan. No, Lagos Benin Expressway mm -hmm. to protest blackout. Security votes pro Buhari first, Autumn tells EFCC. Olubadan may relieve high <coughs> chiefs of their posts. Buhari begins a 10 day vacation in UK on Friday. Court orders INEG chairman's arrest for contempt. An appeal court nullifies judgment, stopping National Assembly from reordering poll time till all the stories are here. Yeah. So they only pick one. Okay, the I APC, have the, Benin, um, the blockage. The Lagos Benin yes, yeah, Expressway. So the um, <coughs> Edo Youths blocked um, the expressway. That was uh, on, um, I think, on Wednesday. They were protesting power outage for 10 years in about 10 communities in the local governments. So they um, said that um, the, um, they, were caught, they were actually caught off the grid over alleged indebtedness, mm. according to the PHCN. So they are giving the government 14 days uh, ultimatum that if they have to, first of all, they have to you know, give back power to the local government that are suffering mm -hmm. and take away the license from that Benin mm. disco. Mm. So Benin disco is running a business. We, right. we hope understand. that the government listens Me, to them. You want to be APC? Yes. yes. Well, it's, I'm sure it's everywhere else. Yes, Let's it move is. to the nation. Mm. APC to Saraki resign now. Equerry Madu falls ill doing EFCC grilling. Buari for 10 day holiday in, in London. Tambor, 18 Sokoto lawmakers join PDP. And work begins on Lagos Rail Standard Gauge. All right, let's. Okay, if it's okay, so they yes, fall sick. <laughs> Anyways, can we do, let's do the like, Saraki like one first? <laughs> All of them always fall sick. Okay, so um, um, they said barely 24 hours after Saraki um, right. defected, uh, came from APC to yeah, PDP. Anyone. Yeah, um, they're asking APC is asking him to also resign his position as the Senate president because APC is still in the majority. And the federal government were like, well, he will even be missed. He acted like the opposition even while he was in the Let party. me take a quote from uh, Moshe Mali. says, you should, you should not collect a crown that belongs to a family. If for your personal reason you, you have gone to another family, it's just a matter mm -hmm. of honor to leave the crown in the house that it belongs to. Yeah, so yeah, Oshomale so was I, just I trying to say... I agree with that. Um, yeah, so Oshomale was just trying to say thoughts. the honorable right. thing, the honorable thing no, no, to it's do not, is it's that... No, no, honorable. You the point have, is that position of... It's supposed to be to the, the majority leader. It's for the majority leader. Um, leader. It's for the majority party. Okay. Okay. The party in the majority mm -hmm. okay. holds the presidency of the Senate. Senate yeah. So whoever is going to be the Senate president must be of the, the majority, majority party. party. And the majority party is APC. So and if you, you decamp yeah. or you defect, you should okay, let's move on the position. to the Daily Sun. Saraki must resign it. or Shomali blows hot. We talked about that already. Uh, Nigeria progressively divided at his Tambua. Appeal court okays election reordering. Restructuring better than diversification, says Soludo. And Buari built for London on 10-day vacation. Who has that story? So Buari. I have this Buari. story. Our president is about to go on a 10-day vacation to the UK. It's a working holiday, actually. Yeah. Yes, but um, according to the, um, um, report. the reports, they are saying that he still has the ear infection, which has been persistent. So he's going for checkup awesome. and all of that. You know, he, he traveled in February. He yeah. still went in June again for another 10-day vacation. So is I hope he, is in his he gets well. Every person in their late 70s always go have for reoccurring checkup. issues. Mm. The, what I feel concerned about is that it, we don't trust the same healthcare that all of us are forced Have to you. use. Mm. That's the only thing. But, but it's it's okay. Can afford to travel. Yes. But the good thing is that he handed over to the vice president. And he did the, fantastic. Fantastic. the right thing. Mm. He handed but over I want to so. take the story of um, Appeal Court um, supporting Accord. The, the political party took the um, um, National Assembly to court, court that they don't have a right to reorder the election. Now the High Courts agreed with them, but the Appeal Court has um, overruled. Over, um, yes, overruled on that judgment, saying that they, they don't even have, a court doesn't have a right to take a case, a pending, um, something on that legislation mm. to yes. courts, and that they have the right, and they should let them solve it. That if the president doesn't assent to the bill, even the National Assembly has a right to override the right, president's yeah. absence mm. okay. on that bill. So let's okay. see what goes. Let's move on now to New Telegraph. <clears throat> Tambua punches Buhari. Sokoto <laughs> Governor Party <laughs> spokesman 41 lawmakers dump APC. Talking about his decamping. Yeah. <laughs> decamping, decamping. Appeal court okays National Assembly to reorder poll sequence. Sugar free sodas linked to weight gain and strokes. FG sets to repatriate Nigerian prisoners in China. Okay, let's talk about the, the which sugar one? Free? Sugar free. Yeah, sugar free and okay. then China. Yes, yeah, so the said scientists under the American Heart um, Association have raised alarm at the, um, hmm. they said the risk at which people 
consume. know, you, you no, not consume. That the, the double risk when you consume no, all this low sugar, sugar or no like zero, or sugar zero, free okay. or zero coke, you okay. know those sort of things. So low, low, sorry, low sugar, mm -hmm. free, you know, n low calorie drinks and things like that. So they're saying that those ones are even more likely to give you higher, twice the effect of sugar drinks, like oh. uh, weight gain, um, stroke, dementia, diabetes. You know, there's this thing. You know, an alternative. Use. They use Instead an alternative. Instead of sugar, they yeah. use aspartam. This aspartam. Oh, which well, is not tame, good. Yes. Uh -huh. Which is which not with the excess. And because we feel it's sugar free, we keep drinking a lot right. of it. Just drink right. your sugar now. So everything should be in moderation. Let's talk about China. China is doing the prisoner yes. swap. Yes, um, the Federal Executive Council uh, ratified a, um, a prisoner swap agreement to repatriate Nigerians, uh, repatriate right. Nigerians seven jail terms in uh, China. 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 So um, the according to the Minister of Justice, San Malami, said the deal for the deal to be effective the china people also have to you know ratify their own agreement and also um they are planning to reach you know like have the same plan for other countries so that they'll bring all the prisoners back to our so country we and we don't, we don't china have, hasn't agreed we don't yet. even have space for them here mm. no but okay. the thing is if you see the stories our prisons I've read stories are congested about Chinese no, prisons. Again, the Chinese prisons are worse. Are worse. And that oh, foreigners whoa. are in terrible condition right, over there. So we'd rather just them come. Yeah, yeah, let us come. But we don't know where we'll put them. When okay, they let's see. What does Vanguard have? Uh, Saraki's defection. Good riddance. His presidency. They've been saying that since last week. Buhari begins 10-day holiday in London tomorrow. Hands over to Shimbajo. Autumn to EFTC. Starts security vote probe from presidency. Appeal court clears National Assembly. To reorder 2019 pool, we talked about that already. Okay, Tambua, hang it up. Tambua defects from APC, says it's haven for the corrupt. Mm. Leaves with 18 of 30 Sokoto State House of Assembly. That's sad. Yeah, so Tambua left. It's really dra and the dramatic way they are doing it, the, the dramatic way um, Kwara State did it, the dramatic the way. way and I'm wondering, it. we've this this they've played out this drama for us before, just a few years ago. We're not that short in terms of our memories <laughs> that we would forget <laughs> how they've been moving around. Mm. It might just be the leeway we need for a third force. Yes. In, and, Proper alternative. Many people are even tired of all this. For APC. Sorry? I said, Tambuel, especially for me, I feel it's a great loss for APC because he's such a fantastic governor. He's done so much for Sukoto State. I think oh, really? But see, when you think about the, is the, the reasons why they, why they are Trump There are no real chips. ideals of yeah. partisanship. And where are they going to? Exactly. So, yeah, so now when you hear, exactly. so that, that's my issue. So mm. I think this, the campaign, should actually serve as a lesson to we, the, we hold the power. Mm. That mm. We, should, we shouldn't we care. Should care about this. There are some young people that are... I want to take story because it's like a witch hunting sort of. He, de he decamped or defected, whichever mm -hmm. word you want to use, last week, and suddenly they are probing, EFCC is probing <laughs> his security <laughs> votes. And he, he just cried out that if you want to probe security votes, he's not the only one getting it. How come he's the only one right. being probed? He should go through from the presidency every Polit political office holder well, at that Chopper level has security votes. Yeah, Chopper, I so always I come from the Nigerian point of view. If what it means is that one party chases all the corrupt people from the other party while they're in while they're yeah, in government uh, mm -hmm. i don't mind because as a nigerian that's what i want you to do just catch the thieves mm -hmm. and if that's all you people do that when is your turn you catch the thieves on the other because side when of, is your for turn me again, that's catch. fine uh -huh. really okay let's I move see. on to nigerian tribune election sequence we talked about that already let me pick a story we haven't talked about. Uh, court orders arrest of INEC chairman. Yeah, okay. uh, and I think that's it. Yes, one of okay, the Okay, yes. So, um, Justice Pam of the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has issued a warrant for the arrest of the INEC um, chairman, Professor Yakubu Mahmoud, because he's, he was contempt. absent. Yes, in contempt of court, he, had, he was absent for a case that was brought before it. He had um, refused to acknowledge, INEC had refused to acknowledge the. I uh, recognize um, Mr. A.G.K. Ogwebo <laughs> as PDP chair, um, chairman of Anambra State. Okay. And this is the third time that the PDP, ch um, the INEC chairman has refused to appear before the court. Right. And so they're asking okay. you to come and explain. Unfortunately, that's all we can take on front page review. When we come back, we ask, do we term a man following a woman to the market as stingy? We'll discuss this when we come back. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So the typical African man believes that a woman's place usually is to go to the market and take care of the children and manage the home front. But in today, there are situations where a man actually goes and follows the wife to the market. <laughs> Some people think it's romantic 
Others think, this man is just stingy. He doesn't want to spend the money. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this? You can join the conversation. Call us on 070-80668-014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Um, when I saw this story, because... I don't know which husbands follow anybody to the market. Me, ah, they like, do. Well, they, no, I, like, when like I read this? it, it was, when I first got married, <laughs> my husband and I used to go to the market together. It was Mom. love. We'll be holding hands like this. They mm -hmm. know us. Mm -hmm. We were going to the market together because I, I wasn't used to shopping like that. And it was more like he used to cook, so he had an idea. He could bag. He was the best person when it comes to bargaining for meat. Once we get there, just be like, just have fun. And he does the bargaining for meat. And it was fun. I, I, for me, it is love. Like, I was wondering, why would you call it about it being stingy? <laughs> But then I thought about it again, that a lot of women, the a typical African woman is going to charge the husband 20k for a 10k pot of soup. <laughs> and so, if the man there, you say, let me show you love, I follow, you are disturbing our <laughs> <country. laughs> So, she's that, that, but for me it was love, it was the fact that you can spend time together. Hmm. It what? Was, I, you know, like for me, where I come from, it's just a normal thing. It's the men that oh. actually do the shopping. You oh my they, God. You know, they go and do the shopping. The wife is at home to cook. And then he goes and he goes to work and he does everything. So when he's coming home, he comes home with the what? shopping. Hey. You know, yeah, so hey. to see a man in the market is not... Maryam, what? Maryam, let, let me ask you. Big, in my entire it's, life, it's so, as a child... It's strange not to see men in let the let market. Let me come in here. <laughs> Since I was a child, I have never seen a man, my father, my brother, <laughs> anybody go to the market. Okay, let me ask Miriam. Yeah. Why will he go to the market when it, ha it has to do with cash? Why can't he stay at home and take care of the house while I take the cash and, so and go to the market to myself? <laughs> you know, because the, the, the truth is, the truth is, case. I have seen people around me who their husbands do the shopping for them, and they always complain that the men don't give them money afterwards. They don't take care of their, you know, daily needs like their toiletries, uh, sanitary wear, uh, pads, and all of that. They don't do that for them. So, and you know, naturally, women like to cut corners. You know, mm, no, so no, 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 see, okay, most women yes. that I know, the African me, woman. I like to cut corners, I'm not going to lie about it, so <laughs> a price of uh, 25,000 era, I will tell you is 50, because I want some other things, you know, at sight, so if by the time, he, do, he knows, he knows, <laughs> he knows. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> so by the time you go to the market, you bring the things for me, to come and cook, and I don't have any spare change to, you know, position I'm myself. <laughs> You will cook that food yourself. Oh. Exactly. I don't get it. I'll be, I'll be frustrated I cooking that food. Yeah. Uh -uh. That didn't make any extra. What exactly. is that? What no, no, is that? But the thing is, it is for, for, uh, from it's my own perspective, and yes, yeah. it is romantic. Yeah, I wish you, you experience what I'm going through. Sometimes the markets are dirty and the we are haggling yeah. and all that. Yeah. And we can be distant during that process. I can't like, even imagine it. it. <laughs> no, we were doing that. I was doing that with him. Right I now, we are both being so busy. We, we don't really don't do, do shopping so, together. But even at that, my husband still does grocery more than me. I currently don't know the price of tin of milk and all that stuff. What? So that's his own category. So he doesn't that's go how into we the market market. He goes like supermarket we to go buy to those things. The market, the market. To market okay. together, like wow. they know me and oh, him. Wow. We came to market. So we so were buying meat <laughs> together. He will hold the meat. He said, "No, this one has <laughs> too much fat." Stop this stop one, stop he knows the right oh, part of meat. Can't enter the kitchen to even boil water. Hey, <laughs> he, has, he has no idea where the gas cooker is. <laughs> no, he's when he's. Um, I don't think my husband has ever been into a market. I don't think. Let, 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 let me tell you, when I started uh, the early years of the marriage, first year, second year, I was going like you. We go to the market every Saturday together. We buy stuff, and I love to go to the market with him because I will pick everything, the sausages, the prawns yeah. and all of that. He will pay. Mm. But when I go, I cut corners. So we go most of the time. But then a friend of mine re ask, uh, asked me to borrow her money sometime. I realized I didn't have any money anywhere. You know, our, we pull our funds together. Mm. So after that market, I'm just left with like 2000 to run the week. Mm. Then I was pregnant. I had no money to borrow her. And I felt bad. So when I go back that evening, I called him. I said, come on. Is it not nice for you to be giving me allowance so that I handle the buying? From there, I can get control. I, I feel like I don't have control over my finances. I don't have anything. My father can just call me, and I don't. It's not every time they call you from home that you tell your husband you want to send money to your parents. Me, I, you know, I, I wanted to personally, have. I've not finished. Oh, though. Sorry. I wanted to have some <laughs> of those. Um, you know, just have something so, yeah. that I can rely on on my own. And he felt bad that uh, who is putting stuff into your head? Why do you now want to start having? I said, please, I think I need it. Thank God he's the kind of husband that listens. Mm. He started, and I was able to save from that yeah. money. You know, yeah. sometimes it still takes me shopping where there's free cash, you know, but okay. then I have Point control. Taken, but I personally feel it's intrusive. 
for a man to come and follow me to, because personally i like i like the supermarket shopping I, it, for me it's therapeutic i just yeah. like to enter there take my time my Good husband thing. will be hurrying me up where he he was only there to go and see his product and get out he, he doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really care what else he only few things that he wants he doesn't care about the sausages he doesn't care about the things i'm buying uh -huh. he's only just in and out but i don't i, I personally feel that it's not his place to know what is going so on in, talk in my that. shopping the arrangements. Of, the, when it comes to place and who, what, who should do what, it's personal. It's, for every marriage it might differ. It's different, but yeah. the ideal part of it is that we are one, we do things together, each person playing up their strength. Yeah, other places mm. that you can be each one, person playing, playing up the their dishes, strength. Daddy. So if you are a better bargain person, mm. which I would say my husband is, and can't say that I pity the people pr I'm prizing <laughs> with, I pity them like, I can't be prizing too much now, and they will cheat me. Mm. So, but my husband understands that these guys would triple the price just so that they can get a good, a fair deal from you. They've, seen, they've sized you up, so he prizes better. Based on his strength, for the marriage to be <coughs> successful, mm. we work on his strength. Okay, so it should not be a role play. Because it, it, it feeds off that stuff where we say that a woman is kitchen and a man brings the money. That, this, just, this narrative just feeds off it. No, sure. Okay, just well, give me money. We're going to go on a quick, I want to go on an early break because we have two gentlemen who are going to join the show. I, don't want, I want to really hear their versions. One actually goes shopping uh -huh. for the family. The other ones can't even smell it with the temple pool. So <laughs> we get the two sides. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, then. Stay tuned, your view will be right back. Welcome back to your view. Thanks for staying with us. So joining us is the Group Head Technical Services TVC Engineer Obani Akinwali. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the graphic artist TVC Shion Areoyi. Uh, it's the usual, you come here all pretty often sometimes. <laughs> Good you morning. can call us on 07080668014. You can also tweet to us at TV6 Connect. Please hashtag TVC so we can read your tweet. So there are two angles. We'd like to know your own individual perspective to shopping for the family. Then we'll now come to the issue of stinginess. There are some men that are so stingy. When they go shopping. But <laughs> let me start with Shil. Yeah. Do you think it's mm -hmm. ideal for a man to go shopping for the family? Yeah. Is that something you do? Yeah, I do that very often. Um, number one, where I work is very close to a market where we can buy stuff <coughs> in bulk. Okay. Number two, that's the only way I can so ask. You enter the market my yourself? Wife. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey. Mm. Yeah. Price, tomato. I'm very good at that. Are you for yeah. real? If I have some colleagues that are female in the office, go with me when I'm going. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we we'll strike a good bargain. bargain. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let me come to Engineer Nii. Do you, do you agree that, is a man, that a man should be able to go shopping for the family? Uh, I will chronicle it in three phases. Uh, uh, let me say from the Paleolithic stages, when our grandfather died in Egyptian <laughs> ages, the level of trust you have between the wife and the husband, what happened is that when a man is looking for a wife, you know your what, you know your level. Okay. So you can trust your wife, whatever resources you have. Okay. <laughs> now, when a man is proposing to a woman, you can decide to give him anything to do anything she wants. It is normal, it's about 100, 30, 17, and so on. But coming to this age, mm. uh, I, I really like Sheon's approach, but I feel it's going to be suicidal wow. <laughs> with the kind of women we have these days. Yeah, I will give my experience is, uh, my wife knows very well that when it comes to going out to go and shop together, I would rather not go. Mm. Right. Because if you have, okay, you have a plan, you have a budget that we are doing X, Y, Z. Okay. Women, you know women are very choosy, they have varieties and what have you. Mm -hmm. And you already planned that, okay, we're going there to spend X amount of money. Right. On getting down there, said, ah, that's true, remember this. You will spend. That's true, remember <laughs> you will this. Spend more. And don't forget that you have your card by your pocket. If it is cash, you can say, okay, it's this finished. is all. But said, oh, you're punching thing. Yes, so, so naturally, the best bet <laughs> for modern day really women is to allow them to mm. go and give them the money. Go. Okay, let, me, okay, let me come I want, into the okay, I wanted to ask him. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, I had a, a conversation with a man sometime, and he was telling me that the wife is extravagant. Mm. She doesn't know how to bargain. And so he doesn't give her the money. He prefers to go to the market himself. And I said, when I started my relationship, I don't know how to go to the market. I don't know how to bargain. But I learned over time because they give me so so, so an amount, okay, let's say 40,000 for the month. And I know that when it's finished, I cannot come back. So I find, found my way and I learned. So if you really want to teach your wife no, to... That wasn't what she said. 
school. Right. It's always right. that it's close to the market. Yeah. No, you're not it was about proximity. I'm asking him a question okay. Okay. that some men have said because their wives cannot manage the money, that is the reason that they the go reason to the market. So I'm asking. No, that is not my case. Okay. In fact, okay. she's a better money manager than I am. Oh. When I go to the market, when I'm in front of this meat seller, if I if my budget was three thousand, I can spend fifteen. Oh. Yeah. When I see some particular okay. kind of that you like, let me but come tomorrow. It, it, yeah. I, it, I just is the only way I can assist her, assist her. with the challenges at all. Okay, so you only just oh, he's an assistant. Yeah, so he's okay. assistant, which is good because I know someone mm -hmm. that the reason that he does this is because well, he was at the time they got married, they were newly married, they were trying to make sure that their finances, you know, that they were spending it well. So he would count the pieces of beets in the pot wow. to make sure that, you know, the one for Monday, for <laughs> Tuesday, for Wednesday, if by Thursday the beat is finished, you, you know, explain. So what has to be explained. you know that accountability. No, 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 the reality is this. See, one of the problems we have as Africans is that we don't do proper budgeting. Mm -hmm. Let me say, for example, my salary is 80,000 a month. Mm. And perhaps the company says 15,000 is my transport money. Mm. X, Y amount of money is my feeding money. Now, for a normal African man, you are not expected to hit with your full hand, mm. isn't it? Yes, so, so you are expected to save possibly 20% of your earnings. Mm -hmm. Now, in order for you not to see, we, all of us have every tendency to go overboard. Yes, we do. If I have opportunity to go and be eating croaker every day, with chips, I will eat it. <laughs> and before you know it, I will eat my future. That's mm. the reality. Mm. So, so you if, feel so you, you for me, put measures for me, in place. We, when we ask, okay, we are buying a bag of rice. Mm -hmm. Last year, how long does it last? <laughs> oh, it lasted this month. Yeah. So accountant, when I'm budgeting this year, for us bad. No, 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 we no, know those accounts as I'm right. No, no, it's, it's not about accounting. Right. It's you, you you to if I'm budgeting this year, so I know that X amount of naira plus. 10 to 15 percent will be for this particular no, project. No, 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 that's too much book for no, us. Let me no, 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 just finish. Yes. I was just going to say that, you know, to make your point, this particular family, they're very it's a very successful family right now. Yeah. So I want to say that maybe, you know, the way that they went about it is what has brought nah, them to success. Nah, for that thing, we are successful too. They are really <laughs> very successful. Wait, wait, wait. They started small and they are very Accountability is different from too. you helping your wife shop. Mm -hmm. I just don't go to buy. I go with a budget. She will mm. tell me, these are the stuff you will buy. Okay. Sometimes she'll send it to me by WhatsApp. Or say, okay, mm -hmm. these are the stuff you will buy. Okay. Sometimes she'll even tell me, if they call this 2,000, don't mind them. It's not more than 1,006. Okay. So now, the issue of accountability, it's only your wife that can help you do that. Mm -hmm. Managing the house. Mm -hmm. so She's the one that knows how to... Better. To, she have a way of um, uh, keeping the stew, some in the freezer. Yes. The ones you can't touch. That. She knows the one... She has to warm every well, morning. Well, let me say this. Well, you know, she also has the opportunity of having a guest that's your friend mm -hmm. and giving them two fish and two meat. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, guess now. You're not just possible as well. You will not just possible as well. Hey! She's managing for you. So, sometimes, when my in-law comes around, and I always sit and watch my wife, what will she do today? She's spread. Oh, hey! Oh, so, let me explain so, to people like Ejidani. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Ejidani is an accountant husband. Okay. I'm not, I, accountability is different from accountancy. Mm -hmm. Accountancy are those that use the proof to measure the yam. No, no, I don't measure So they will, they will measure the no, yam and that. say that you, this, a slice of yam is two inches. Mm -hmm. Two centimeters. Two, as the two inches mm -hmm. would be for one stomach. Mm -hmm. the, 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 one, the meat, the yeah, two kilo like of chicken okay, we bought would last us for two weeks. Point, point accountancy again. and yeah. accountability, the issue yeah, I have with it is uh -huh. that if you're holding me accountable that we've agreed as a family that we want to live at this level mm -hmm. because we have future plans, it's good. Mm -hmm. But if you now make it look like if it is an imposition of your desires on me mm -hmm. and you get to live your life outside, so you, mm -hmm. you, a, a man drinks his two, three, four beers with his guys and I soup every day. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm you come from and I'm measuring yam. Me mm -hmm. and I'll be and measuring yeah. what each of yam. Let me, let me come exactly. to the issue of um, accountability because you see, we're women, mm -hmm. we are hospitable, mm -hmm. we have families coming to the house. Yes, yes, yes. you say. We only have these pieces of meat in the pot. Mm -hmm. But there we have guests. A woman goes and, yes, wants to impress her guests. That's one. Number two, I go to the market. I realized that I, I wanted to buy five things. When I got to the market, I realized that I needed actually ten things. Mm -hmm. What is wrong in that? Nothing. Okay. Absolutely nothing. What is, what is wrong is the fact that you said it yourself that you go to the market to buy five things. <laughs> that <laughs> means when you go to the market, you have Jureo. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of you facing what you are there to buy, you are buying other things. And what, what, what things that we need? We need, but yes. when you are going to the market, we are not priorities. <laughs> it was you get to the market, and I said, okay, we need, we can have this. But the question is that if we do, if can we do without those things? Yeah. Probably. Yes, we can. 
So if we can do without those things for that period, are we able to save X amount of money? Yes, we have. So what, what is your mind before going to the market is this. Can I'm I getting put, to okay, market. Okay, I'll, I'll let you come in here, but can, right. I, can I put this to you, right. the engineer, that in every other area, rent, right. um, yes. Nepal bills and everything, yes. we want you to handle. Sure. When it comes to food, leave it for us. Leave it for us. Uh, we are good. Food. You now. Food. Hey, you and the children, but leave that the ability handling. to that's what, diversify. That's, that's always. If I want to buy cheese today, <clears throat> maybe usually we don't Chicken buy cheese. Chips. Now I realize that, okay, the cheese, let me add some fruit, let me add some mayonnaise. Uh, I look, want to make some shawarma in the house. Uh, or on that note, I will support him. <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you see those cheese teas? <laughs> they are not our tea. Mm -hmm. they, they are too expensive. Mm -hmm. And like you said, in Nigeria, you, you have to cut your coat according to your size. Yeah. No, but don't you don't me. Yeah. Yeah. You can't use okay, okay, for me, for okay. me, the thing is, you know, so I've seen people who have money, who okay. people who are successful, and if you come close to them, they are prudent, at the same time, they give. Sure. You can't come to their house and they won't give you food. Sure. You know, giving, when you give, you receive more. And I've seen people who hold their hands like this, they hardly give you food when you come oh, to their house. They don't know, hold on, hold on. And yet, they don't have as much. Uh -huh. So you saying that because I've counted the meat in my pot, and then a visitor comes, you are looking to see what I, 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 I think it's, that's being just naturally like, stingy. You, know, you should have in your plan. Stingy. No, hold on, in your plan. Okay. You should have miscellaneous. Okay. That anything can happen. What if your mother calls from the village and they need money? So what members. do you do? Exactly. Okay, let me, just, let me just answer that question. Mm. You said miscellaneous. Yes. Is not supposed to be infinite or capped? <laughs> it should be capped. Fantastic. So you have your limits so if, for the if, month. If you have, if, if I've capped my, my miscellaneous to be 20,000 naira, yes, and month. perhaps I have an uh, speculative uh, expenses, possibly somebody just walked in. Are you saying because I want to satisfy whoever my guest is, should be at my own detriment. No, you can okay, share your food. Yeah. Yes, my. And I also agree with you. Oyimbo people, they don't give you food if you don't call them. Okay? Mary, I mean, I'm not they, invi mm, they invite you for dinner, mm -hmm. and they have yeah, planned, and are they are have budget. Hey, maybe we should learn. Culture. Maybe we should learn one no, or two things no, from no, that. No, no, listen, no, what no, I'm trying to say. No, okay, listen. In, in, in Africa, it's a way of sh sh uh, sharing I love. love. Yes. Yes. When, when my in-law comes to my place, I should serve them. Come on. I go all the way to entertain them, probably in drinks. When my when my brothers or sisters come to visit, mm -hmm. I see my wife go. Sometimes she'll bake, sometimes she'll cook, yes, she'll do a for to be. So, okay. okay. Let me take this call from go. London. Let me take this call, then I'll come to you. Sam, are you there? Hello, I'm Sam. Uh, good morning. Good morning. good morning. good morning. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Yeah, I have this problem you are talking about. It's a very, it's a very simple life. I am here in London. I live, I'm, we are living here. My wife is not working, but we have joint account. So I don't need to pay money to my wife every day, every day, all, all the time. My money, I don't have money. It's our money. I'm talking to poor. I don't say that uh, it's my money. No, it's our money. I, I'm referring to my wife and myself. So my wife doesn't have me money. She has her own bag. Go to the bank. It's the money I buy what you have to buy. Right. And for now, I'm still the one that's still shopping. Okay, the, thank you very much for that. You send the to the school and everything. <laughs> So okay. joint account is the best because in, we don't live maximum life in Nigeria. All right. Fantastic. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, let me take it. He says, um, Mubarak Oladipo says, the word follow in this case sounds like monitoring. I think it should be men who accompany their wives to the market. Mm. I think it's more of love and caring as opposed okay, to Let me pause stingy. you to talk for that second because there's an, there's an angle of romance mm. in mm. this. Mm. Mm. Some women find it romantic. Like yeah. talk with like talk with that, you follow. Let me come to both of you. I mean, when you, now let's say you're, you're accompanying your wife to the market. Mm. Don't, do you think it's something she would like you to do just to accompany <clears> her? <throat> you want to sit in the car, you are the one to go. But women actually appreciate you sometimes Spending being time. right there with them. Sure. So would, is this something you would do or you find a pill? Yeah. No, no, no. Every, every, every reasonable man will always love to be by the wife. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely right. The only question is that when you are going on those dates, just make sure that you go with cash, not with card. <laughs> you call it a date, right? right? You can say that the money is so finished. that when you are going to hand over the so immediately said the cash is over, the party is over. For me personally, I really do Simple. not have a problem with going to the market with or without my husband. Is you know he can go, I can go, and usually like in um, Obiadulu's case. When I do go with my husband, we tend to shop more, more yes. and I like it when he comes with me. But um, I've never done it to 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 cut corners. I, 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 I she was going to say something. That. Yeah, I, I, personally, I noticed my wife liked it. Um, and you go with her. When yes, together. it's fun. It's good to do something different other than staying at home, and so it's good. You spend time together, you get to understand each other. It's good. 
All right, to cool. Let me, let me go ahead. Yes, I, I had this friend who the husband likes to shop. So he goes to the market and he doesn't ask the wife, what do we need? He just enters and he can buy a carton of uh, spices. Mm -hmm. He can buy a carton of, uh, you know, uh, maybe oh. detergent. And he, so he in comes, he, yeah, in bulk, he comes home with all these cartons. And then the wife says, thank you. Gets into the kitchen to prepare something and realize, okay, ah, there's no tomatoes. We don't have tomatoes. Ah, we don't even have granite oil or uh, uh, vegetable oil. We don't, we don't have, ah, oh God, what did you now buy? You see cartons of things that are not <laughs> relevant <laughs> in the house. And that was a major okay, so problem. Can we tell this gentleman what our ideal would be? So maybe they can take this home to other men. Yes. What we would like them to do. Our well, ideals are different. Okay. Not go there yet. Our know. ideals are different. Uh, uh, this, okay, she, let's not go there yet. Because yet. I, I want us to just hold on a bit on account um, on on um, living within a budget. Yes. Because I, yes. I I see that a lot of families struggle with the idea of living within a budget mm -hmm. by virtue of our background of communal living. Mm -hmm. We tend to oh, have good. visitors that you will be yeah, forced sure. to accommodate. Mm -hmm. yeah. You tend to have people that, I, I, I lived with someone in the US and while they were very accommodating, she had a budget. Mm. The, the fact that I was in the house meant that electricity bill went up by almost 100% because we, the AC was on in my room. After paying that bill, I, even I knew I had to stop switching on the AC every time um. because it was above their budget. Mm. She ha we, we need to get to that point as a, as a family, individually, when you decide that for us to have our own house without mm. corruption, we need to start okay, saving now. Let me take this now. call yeah. from Mohammed. Mohammed, are you there from Niger State? Yeah, I'm there. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Uh, thank you. My, my contribution to the debate is, you see, in life, whenever you are in marriage, you face reality. You oh. face reality. Okay. You begin to look at things uh, from the real angle, not uh, the angle of toasting, romance. <laughs> the the fact is that so long as your income is not increasing, <clears throat> you must work within what you have. Mm. Personally, I go to the market to do my shopping and I go with the list. There's okay. nothing wrong in that. Okay. I'm also that uh, away, away from the North have this uh, extended or large family. Mm. If you decide to throw away everything in extravagance, you will suffer for the rest of the month. So true. And when I had somebody say she spent 40,000 Naira in the month, I was calculating, wow, this is large. Ah, ah. <laughs> 40,000 in 2008. Okay, in Niger State. Okay, this is why we cheap in Niger State. And, uh, and a few couple of friends I don't understand. Me from that time. I don't spend more than 25,000 for feeding. Wow, you don't what, buy groceries. What do you people you eat? Buy huh? Cereal. What do you eat? Oh, no, Mohammed, in a month, 25,000. No, there's no cereal. They don't take cereal. They, shouldn't, no. they won't take cereal. Right. Okay, thank you very much. Let's, they won't take cereal. Let's take a tweet here. Then, then a tweet we'll, here too. Uh, Andrew says, when traders at, uh, say, K2 Market sees uh, Moriah, Tokwe, me, and uh, Miriam, these sophisticated mamas, they will raise the prices back down. It also <laughs> depends on how you dress. Aisha Ali, you says, I personally think that it's romantic to follow your wife to the market. It's a sign of love sometimes. But it's annoying sometimes when you need money. And I'm telling you this, my dear, from experience. Okay. So sometimes okay. when you do all those market things, the men forget to leave money for okay, your yeah, personal yeah, upkeep. Okay, break. When okay. we come back, because you see, I want, I want us to drive this conversation home. home yeah. Yeah. Like what's the ideal? I mean, what each person. For, for each person, what would you like? What's that, what's that perfect scenario when it comes to house shopping? Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned, your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So as I said, I wanted to just bring this conversation home because there are many families having issues where the husbands are being stingy, following them to the market, not make, giving them the leeway to mm -hmm. make decisions. So we'll go around and ask you what do you think is the ideal situation before we come to the gentleman. Um, Takwe, in your own case, what, do you what, what would you like as a woman when it comes to house shopping? Um, honestly, when it comes to house shopping, my ideal is that we play on each other's strengths. I don't expect that... I would be forced to go to the market when I don't like it. If he's comfortable doing it, he should Fine. do it. That works for me perfectly. I give him lists, he shops, 
I don't know what the cost. I don't know when inflation comes on prices. Is the one that reminds me that the milk has got to. Well, you can't be asking for ten so milk. Like for so I like the go. fact that we have found a situation that works, and I believe that it, each person should actually maybe find what works yes, for them. My husband's shopping is good for me. Okay, great. Let me let me take this call from Inka, then I come to Maryam. Inka, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead, please. Okay, quickly, uh, I want to hand, I want to um, talk about two things. First is the, get the, there was a gentleman who called in and said that um, the issue about our money. I really don't understand that concept, really, because <laughs> of the fact that uh, we need to we need to objectify the parts where there's singularity in marriage. And before I met you, that's why they say that marriage is work in progress. Don't go and use our accounts for work in progress. <laughs> you had you had a, you had a pattern <laughs> of spending your money before we met, and while we were, while we were married, we're still working on it. That something is a fact that we're on the on the concept of this topic we're talking about. Um, they always say something that how you do one thing is how you do everything. Mm. There is a pattern that the couple that um, the wife needs to understand about the guy. For, you know, something they call monitoring spirit. For the guy to always want to be in charge of um, going to the market and trying to, like, you know, buy, there's something that you need to find out if it's for the reasons of romance or it's for stinginess. Mm. Because in essence, you, uh, um, the man might want to cover up to say that, you know what, I have to go to the market. Because maybe he wants to investigate the reasons why this price is this way, um, okay. why she collected 30000 this right. week, the next week is another forty five. Right. dollars know, really trying to like, just monitor what's really going on. All so right. it's, it's something that has to be really checked out by the right, email or by thank, the wife. Thank you very much, Inga. <coughs> Let me come yeah. to Maren. What's okay. your ideal situation? So for, for me, my ideal situation is what already works in my, in my house. Whoever has the time or wherever you are and the shopping needs to be done, you Just do go. it. But I think the ideal situation for, for my husband would be, Miriam, please spend a little less than what you spend. That would be his own ideal situation. So, well, good. Well, let me come to you, madam. What's your <laughs> ideal Okay, situation? so for me, hmm, give me my allowance for the month to handle everything, do my shopping and all of that. Then once in a while, take me out on your... Bill. own bill <laughs> and paparazzi me like just take care of me buy some extra things it's been working for me and that's why i'm very happy okay, and like it's like for your clothes like for, for family, for family. <laughs> i hear evil men always spend anyhow for their lives well, I wouldn't say anyhow. We've been planning, spent, we've been progressing, yeah. so we, 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 know, we know our limits. And okay. Mariah, what's your ideal? My, my ideal is, honestly, in my heart of heart of heart of heart, <laughs> okay. inside, inside some way, I would love for my husband to actually do the shopping. You know, Aww. go out there and just help I mean, you. Just go and do the shopping. And let me just come home and see the house all stocked up. And I'll cook. Mm. But my, my brown would never. Mm. I, I have adjusted <laughs> to the fact that. That is a, that's just a kind of this guy. Wow. So, but I think I've adjusted the fact that, yes, I, I do the shopping myself, but I would like for him to maybe double the, my, my monthly allowance, allowance okay. that I get for shopping, okay. because that would really help me, because I like to buy assorted. I don't mm. like the regular rice, eba, unique. It's I like tiring. the, but, so, but, let's but wait, but the brown is the kind of person that, if I agree this figure, it has to be this figure, nothing more. Mm. Once you want to start adding on, add on it, you have to start debating and discussing. I'm like, I can't discuss, I don't have English. Just give me more money. One Simple. Point. That's one very point. important because that's what, what I was trying to say when I said maybe we should learn something from mm. the Oimbo people. Yes, we have a culture, but we also need to understand the place of a budget. So Sometimes, I'm gonna, yes. because we're trying to be cultural and please everyone, you know, we hurt ourselves. After your fam the friends have come and gone, then your children do not even have meat to eat. Exactly. Well, no, if, if I don't have money, I won't even allow you to come to my house. I want to speak now. But let me quickly take Jacob's call, then I'll come to you guys. Um, Jacob, are you yeah. still there? I'm there. I'm right please go there. ahead. And good morning to you all. Morning. Uh, morning. So, I think I go with the guy at uh, White uh, uh, Top. Because, uh, for me, I believe giving your wife money to go to market is a good idea. And then don't be, don't be surprised that no matter how much he, how much he, she makes from the money that you give to her, she, she can still spend it on your children. She, she, can, she can spend it on some certain things that when you are not around, mm. and then by the time you come back, mm. and then she will tell you that I spend this, I spend that, and then you will give her that because that is essence of because you giving her money to go to market. It is a good idea. Mm. The only thing I do buy for my wife is yam because. I knew that if she go to market, she may not be able to carry it because I do mm. buy a lot of yam. That's the only thing I did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank All right, so let's come to gentlemen. Like in closing remarks, in your view, what's because lots of families need this help. We can say what we want, mm -hmm. but there are lots of men out there. 
being stingy, not giving their wives enough, and the wives are just managing and managing. Mm -hmm. So what's your own approach to this issue of house shopping? Yeah, I think one thing that we women will appreciate is the fact that if the men are not giving out the money, it's basically to save for the family. Hmm. And uh, you also appreciate the fact that most of the buying that the men will go and do in the market, like you mentioned that after getting to the market, you see that you want to get this, you want to get that. But man in his natural way is a deep thinker. He thinks a lot before he buys anything and it's better the woman goes in and she buys everything she needs. As an African way is, give your madam the money, mm. let her go and buy. But the modern way is that once in a while, Go out there with cash in your hand. Please note, <laughs> cash in your hand yeah, and you. do shopping together. Not ATM. Let me come to Sheila. <laughs> I'll say I, I go with her. Um, uh, the place of um, convenience. Like, um, and then um, one, it's com if it is convenient for the guy to do the shopping, yeah, do it. Fine. The strength. Um, my wife is a better, um, is better when it comes to buying clothing. She can, I'm better at um, food. Uh, food, tomato, tomato yeah. meat. So play to your strength. Can I work hire you? With play with your strength. Can play I... with your strength. Work with a budget. Dayo okay. says that nothing wrong with couples going to the market together. My wife and I sh um, shared our shopping responsibility together. E.g., I pay for shopping this month. Next month she pays. She cannot. Sydney Iori says that if a wife doubles up price of food stuff and cuts corners mm. while going shopping, it is corruption. No, <laughs> and like for I wanted to say. Oh. I love See that statement right there. Don't, doesn't you, doesn't make you, to say it again, use that, read that again. If a wife yes. doubles up price of food, uh, food stuff mm -hmm. and cuts corners, corners while going shopping, it is corruption. Yeah. I don't agree with that. I, I don't do. think so. I don't think so. It's another, it's another, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Your money is my money. My money. Your money cannot be. We become one. Your money, that money is meant for something in the family. Morality is a for that money. Excuse me. The essence of cuts. Cutting corners mm. is not because I want to cheat you. Why then? Why, Why do you tell me what you want to use the money for? No, 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 cutting no, corners. Excuse me. Tell me what you want to use the money for. Don't cut the corner. Sometimes Just request for the money. For you. If it is necessary, you have it. You guys do not even give the money when they request. Because you don't understand. We, uh, Why they are requesting for that if money? It's no, you see? It's not a so it must be a need before you give me the money. What do you call a need? What do you call my need? Everything you're discussing. I don't agree. If that's what we can do, it's corruption. Because when you need that money, I bring it out. When you need that money, I bring it out. When you need that money, I fill in that gap. One day, can be a Hang in if there. both of you cannot communicate as a family, then there's a crisis. Sure. If there is a need that you have and your husband cannot see into it, there's a crisis. Okay, let me, let me talk about hanging them. Mm. Do you realize as a woman, mm. it is wisdom mm. for you not to open up to everything? Thank you. Well, I don't agree no, with no, that. No, 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 I, no, no, no. I, I, I've heard That's that. That's what I've understood. Yes, no, no, I've heard no, no. that. Thank you. The marriage, should be, the marriage should be open. So if yes. you have wisdom, then the husband also has because wisdom. Because if he hides from you, you will be... If he hides from you, you will, be, from you, you will yeah. not like There's it. There's no wisdom. It's foolishness. Yes. Yeah. 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 Just making sure that we understand it. And come back to the same page. Okay. Yes, I was going to say that I've heard that said of, you know, our mothers who say to us, okay, do not... When you go to the market, don't finish everything. I was taught that growing up. But I think that it is corruption, really, if you steal Abia. from your, you're stealing you're from, from pocket. yourself. And if you yeah. steal with little, he who cannot be trusted with little cannot be trusted Ebe. with no, no, no. I, totally I totally disagree. I totally disagree. So, Barbara, we can end with that, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, women, communication. Yes. Mm -hmm. Open, yeah. be so true, cute. and be straight with exactly what you need money for. Yeah. And if your husband, you want to go shopping, please, it's very romantic. Some women actually like that. Just mm -hmm. take yeah. the head headache off us and just go and do the shopping. That's all we can take on the show. I hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did. Please do not use unbranded oil as it is dangerous to your health. Join us again tomorrow. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.